Good morning, everyone. Good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empires free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share the video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. Now, as I walk in this area, there will be some shadows in the video. Do not worry about that. Focus on the message. I didn't bring my equipment with me. No. I've met so many narcissists over the years. And it looks like um, all of them are reading, uh, they have got the same playbook, you know, so they are, they are reading from the same playbook. It doesn't matter where you find them, all of them they are reading the same pattern. So the, their pattern is love bomb. First of all, strategize. <laughs> that's, one of, well, that's one of the things that most people don't talk about. They strategize. Then they identify the target. Then they come in, they love bomb you. Then they abuse. And then they devalue. And then they discard. And then they repeat. Now the repeat can come in. Um, they may repeat with a new supply or they may repeat with somebody they have known before. An, an old, they may recycle an old source of supply. But you see, the thing is, a lot of times these individuals, um, they are not they are not able to um, to recognize authentic connections. So it doesn't matter where you find them. If you're in their workplace, for example, if you guys are working together, they will sabotage the connection and they will sabotage the whole environment. And sometimes they meet them. They are even capable of bringing those businesses down. If you're working with them and you have a business with them. And you guys partner in some way, you, you partner up in a business. They are going to bring the business down. If you are in a friendship with them, they are also going to sabotage the friendship. And that friendship is going to come to an end. And normally, it's a very brutal end. So we can talk about those connections coming to a brutal end. Then we can talk about relationships, which is the major one here. In relationships, the narcissist does not recognize that you've been sent to help them. You see, these people, these individuals, they are already in sorry state, you know. By the moment you meet them, they are already in sorry state. They are jobless, they are homeless, they are lifeless. You know, most of the times you, you will find them, they're almost dying. They're almost dead. You know what I mean? They do not have anything going on with themselves. So you come in, you connect with them. And then you start to go to work. You know, the empath, normally the empaths, they tend to be uh, the narcissist's life support. So they come into their lives and they start to helping them. You know, what do you need? Can I get your job? Uh, can I give you a place to stay? Can we get married? You know, maybe we can get kids or uh, have children or things like that. You know what I mean? So most of the times I've told you guys in my videos, the narcissist is uh, spiritually unplugged. You know, I did a video many years ago. And I told you that the narcissist is spiritually unplugged. So they are in this little shell. You know, they're in the shell. And that shell has disconnected them with source. So when you come in their lives, their thinking capacity and uh, capabilities are very, very limited, you know. So they can only recognize the things around them. That's the reason as to why you see a lot of these nurses, they are very, very materialistic. So for them, when they are coming to your life, they don't believe in... Uh, 
building something very important with you. The only thing they are going to look at is what, like, what car are you driving, uh, why are you sleeping, um, what do you look like. A lot of them they like to go to go for the the top models. You know they will think that all, those top models are the best. So before, so for them they are conditioned to look at the shell. They or they can only look at the shell. They can only see things um, that are very very close to them. So they can, they don't have the ability to look very far. And you see. When a narcissist loses an empath, and they recognize that they have actually lost an empath, and that person is not coming back, that is one of the things that is going to break a narcissist to a degree they have never seen before. Because you see, first of all, let us look at it this way. The narcissist is looking for an empath for a relationship. A narcissist is not going to go around and date a narcissist. They are looking for the best supply possible for a relationship. And then eventually that empath is going to show up at some point in their life. They're going to show up and they're going to start dating. Instead of loving that person, doing the best to maintain, you know, to build something with that person, a meaningful relationship with that person, they are going to go to work. So they're going to start destroying the person, you know? So for them, it's like when you're doing something like that, it's like you are building, you know, you know what I mean? You are building and then they are breaking. Then you're coming around and fixing. Oh, you see something is broken. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you know, instead of doing this, let's try that one. You know, maybe let's go and uh, further our education or maybe let's build this house like this or maybe let's look for that kind of a job, things like that. You continuously build the narcissist is continuously breaking. So it does not matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you come from. You are going to meet these individuals and they are continuously going to be breaking something that you're building. They, you, you build and they simply break. That's what it, that's, that's how it is and that's, what it, that's how it works. You know what I mean? When they realize that they have lost a very beautiful person, in this case we're talking about the empath, that is when they are going to realize it's game over for them. You know, a lot of you guys want to be want to believe that when you guys have been discarded, you know what I mean? Everybody has gone their way. You guys want to believe that those guys are happy, you know? <clears throat> that is one of the things that tormented me, ladies and gentlemen, in those early days. That thing tormented me. I used to think the narcissist is happy. They are happy. Actually, there were so many of them. I used, to think, I used to think they were happy, you know. The only thing I didn't know is that for them this was a game. So they were just recycling the process from beginning to the end, and then they come back to the beginning, and then they continue. Then they break, build, love bomb, devalue, discard, continue. I did not know this pattern, how it works. Guys, well, let me tell you something. The moment I discovered the whole meaning with this narcissism, at that point, I started healing very, very fast. I have never healed in my life as fast as I did when I discovered who a narcissist was and how their pattern works. Because now I knew that, okay, so there's no need to fight. You know? You're not going to be fighting for somebody who is broken. How can you be fighting to take back someone who is already broken? When that person discards you, they have done you a favor. Ladies and gentlemen, when the nurses discards you, you have one big time. You're going to look back in days and you're going to discover that that discard was a blessing in disguise. You're going to discover th those individuals to, to, to discard you, they have done you a favor you have never seen before. You know? So when you're with them, because of their inability to connect with spirit. Because I've told you guys, these individuals, these individuals are soulless. They are either a broken soul, or actually they are soulless, because the things, what those people do, they are the things out of this world. It is only a narcissist that will say something you've never heard on this universe. It is only a narcissist that will say something 
you never you, you will do something you never seen sometimes you may you may even want to believe that you're you're, you're dating an alien because you, he, they are doing something you cannot imagine in your in your entire mind for as long as you've lived you don't believe these kind of people do exist but look at you in front of one of them you know what i mean so they are not capable of recognizing uh, authentic relationships. They cannot recognize this. They are not connected to spirit. So that little bubble they are living, they are trapped inside the shell. You know what I mean? They are trapped inside of a shell and the only things they know are the only things that they have learned for as long as they started. They, 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 they took that path of narcissism. Those are the only things they have learned. So they do not know anything else they cannot create anything new. They cannot create anything beautiful. They only know how to break. And that's how it works with these people, unfortunately. If you look around, ladies and gentlemen, and you see a lot of these people that they have broken, the Nazis has broken, and you see all these people that have been dating them and they have broken, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to recognize these are very, very beautiful people. You are going to see these people, the narcissist has broken. The narcissist is trying to break. And you are going to see very, very beautiful souls. People who deserve love. People who deserve happiness. The person that you know that you can date, you can go out with, and that person is going to build with you and they will give you everything. Those are the same people the narcissist breaks. Because you see, one thing you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, Those people, they are jealous of you, you know? So they don't like your... And it's very funny, you know? Because if you're jealous of somebody and you don't like them, why are you hunting them for relationships? Why are they the people that you're deciding to date if you know that you don't like that person's qualities? Because empaths have got very good qualities. You are very connected to your spirit. You are, you are an empath. First of all, you can feel people's emotions. You know that you are not going to hurt anyone. Whether consciously or unconsciously, you do not want to hurt anyone. You do not want to hurt a soul. You cannot hurt even an insect. And then they are going to come around and target you as a victim, as a supply, whatever source of supply, they are going to come into your life. Because you see, one thing, one thing that you guys don't understand, and, and this one is very important, so I want you guys to listen very closely. The narcissist, because I've told you, these guys, they are spiritually bankrupt. So they need the person who is spiritually connected so that you can help them to thrive. Is the reason as to why I've told you that the empath, you are the narcissist's life support. They need you because they know you are connected to your spirit. So you know what you're doing, you know what time it is, you know how to add, uh, put pieces together and everything. But at the same time, when they see you doing this, it makes you it makes them extremely, extremely jealous. And that is that is why, in return, they decide to destroy you. Because they do not know how you do it. How do you do it? You know? How are you able to keep yourself together? How are you able to, to put to put all these things together? How are you able to be that person that you are? Because they can't. They cannot empathize even with an animal. You see those some of those nurses, you see them even killing animals. You know? They're going to pretend around that they love their pets. I don't know, dogs or cats. And then the moment that demon kicks in, you're going to see them throwing their, those dogs in the in, in the lakes or whatever, burying them alive. Those, those people, they are very, very brutal. Brutal people. If you have not dated the narcissist, ladies and gentlemen, you have to pray you don't meet one. I'm telling you the truth. Even if you meet one, ladies and gentlemen, put them in their own place and walk away. So we're not talking about friendships here. We're not talking about relationships. We're talking about very broken souls. Soulless beings who are capable of destroying you. Even sometimes, if you're not careful, those individuals that are capable of exterminating you, they will do some things and, and manipulate your energy to a degree you've never seen before. They may even exterminate you. They may even kill you. So me, you know me in my videos, I say the things as they are. I don't, I don't like those things of sugarcoating because somebody is listening or who is watching. I don't care about that. I say it as it is because it's what I've seen. 
So I don't like to come around here and I'll, I'll, I'll sugarcoat things because I want you to feel a certain way. I want you to tell you the naked truth so that when you're dating those individuals, you are going to know what you're dealing with. And you're able to protect yourself because you don't want to go and become that victim like us. Like we've been there. You don't want to be in that place that we've been. Ladies and gentlemen, I can guarantee you this 100%. So they, be, they destroy the only people left on the universe that are sent to help them, you know. I remember watching one video and one guy said that uh, sometimes these guys, he's a narcissist. And you guys already know, I don't, I don't mention people in my videos. So this man said that it's a divine intervention. So this whole thing of narcissism and the empath is a divine intervention because I believe maybe sometime... There is one or two things we are going to learn from them, and there's one or two things we are going to show them, you know? So we help them as well. You know, we help them get connected. We help them do the right thing. Sometimes you see them when they are going left. We tell them, listen, that road is, uh, is dangerous. Let's take the other one. So we shall always put them on the right path. But they cannot understand how are you able to put all these things together and know which direction to go. You wake up every morning with a plan. Even if you don't have a plan, you can create one, a very genuine plan, and it can work. The nurses cannot do that. Very broken vampires, ladies and gentlemen. I've never seen a person as broken as a narcissist in my entire life. Those people, they are broken to the core. So you best believe that if you see these people and you think that they are thriving, they are so happy and everything is going well, you have to know that there is somebody they are abusing. When you see those so-called narcissists and you think that they are happy, they look up on their face and they're wearing all these suits and smiling in your face. You have got to know they have destroyed somebody and they are using that person to survive. So they are feeding off for somebody's energy. That is what is make them, making them to thrive. Because a narcissist who doesn't have emotional and spiritual support, that person is going to decompose straight away. So when you see them thriving, you know, business is nice and they, are, they look happy and they are going up and down everywhere. You have to know there is a victim. Look very close around their life. They can be, it can be their mother. This is why I want you guys to listen very closely. If you ever meet a narcissist and you see them, they look like they are happy, everything is okay, they are, everything is nice, they are, the, the job is going well, and they look like smiling in your face. You have to look very, very closely. There is a victim that you're not seeing. So when you, when you reach them, when you come closer to them, you're going to see somebody sitting in the corner somewhere. That is the victim. So they have already put somebody in vegetative state and they are thriving off of their energy. So they are moving around with their energy. You know? They are going around with their identities. They are going around with their energy. It is your spirit, it is that personal spirit that they have actually taken over and is what is what is helping them to, to thrive. So you're seeing an illusion. Whatever you're seeing in front of you is an illusion. It is a borrowed energy. They're living with borrowed energy. You know what I mean? So, ladies and gentlemen, beware. Understand that uh, this whole thing, there was lessons to be learned. We understand there was lessons. We understand at the end of the day, most of us have got out, you know what I mean? So the ones who have gotten out will come and help you so that you're not going to fall in those bubbles of narcissistic abuse. It's very, very dangerous. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, is the most toxic relationship you'll ever see. When you're talking about narcissists, the most toxic relationships, the most toxic people in this universe you'll ever meet. So we don't want you to be where we have been. But all in all, you have to understand that. Those people... You cannot try to love them because they they not love you back. They, they have got nothing to love. They, are, they have got nothing to offer. There's no love in there. They're just empty shells. So you're not going to expect an empty shell to love you the way you want to be loved or the way you expect to be loved. They're not going to love you. They can't do that. You know what I mean? So you are the one who has been sent, actually, in the first place to rescue them from their decomposing body and soul. That's how it works. But they're not going to recognize this so they are only destroy, you know. They are not able to recognize this because I've told you guys, these individuals, they, they live in a trap. It's some kind of a trap. They have been trapped for ages, you know. 
So it's not even about you. They have already been trapped in this bubble and they cannot get out of this bubble. Very, very difficult. It takes a lot of power. It may take God. A lot of you guys may want to say it will take a lot of God's intervention for a narcissist to break out of that bubble. It's very, very difficult. So there's a lot of work to be done, ladies and gentlemen. Empaths out there. Protect yourself. Make sure that you see these, uh, these individuals wherever you are and try to share these videos, ladies and gentlemen. When you see these videos popping up on your screens, when you watch them and everything is on, you like them, they resonate. Share these videos. There's always people out there that you're helping. You are helping these people by sharing these videos because they're also going to be able to break free if they're in those relationships or they will be able to protect themselves because now they have the information. So that's the only thing you can do. Share these videos, ladies and gentlemen. Let these videos go out there and reach the masses on this universe. And until then, guys, it's been a blessing to have you guys on board. I wish you guys all the best. You can book a session with me, guys, or you may donate or support my channel if you want to. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Peace.